I think that for makeup, it's always about colors. Colors is the thing that really will brighten up the mood and it will lift the spirit up as well. By being as a makeup artist, it is my passion, my job to make people really look good. The very first encounter with makeup is when I was really about 7 years old that I started to see my mom applying makeup on her face and it was like, ooh, she changed to a different person. I told myself that maybe, yeah, maybe put a little bit on myself and see how is the changes is going to be. And after when I put it on, it was amazing. At the age of 10, I think that I'm very different from people. Yeah, I love to play cooking. I love to uh, play paper doll. Yeah, which is a very iconic thing for all of us to play. And during that, I noticed that I'm different. To be fair with you, nobody wanted to be being called Papo, Papua, no Pwatai, things like that. There's some nicer terms to call us. You know, like you can call us sisters. I think when you mention us, that, hey, I saw a sister walking around the street. I think none of us will really will, will, will bite back. Yeah, we will be very happy and we will say thank you to you to call us sisters. I believe that people who know me has always think that oh, Ginger is a very fan lawyer because this is mad, very loud and very daring. But initially, when I started, it's not like this. Uh, I need to overcome of how people look at me and what do people think of me when people are so insensitive. You know, it's like in the MRT. Uh, nani, 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 keep on looking at me. When you look at me, oh, you know, it's so embarrassing. And I will just stand up and ask them, are you looking for me? Do you need my autograph? I'm standing in front of you. Which part do you want to see? It's really very scary. Uh, the most important thing is that being transgender is not really uh, as like people think about being glamorous, being different. Nowadays, I think people are more welcoming and more accepting. But during those days when we starting to our transition, it's not easy. And the most difficult part is about family acceptance, which I think that part really uh, slightly different because I love my family a lot. And how society look at us. I mean, you can talk about us, it's fine, but don't let my ears hear, don't let my eyes see, that is the most easy thing. You can walk out of the site and you say, oh, I'm not too sure whether that person is a guy or girl. That is fine. I mean, like, this is perfectly normal, but this have a bit, a bit more uh, empathy towards me. That is the part that I think is really, really a bit difficult. And uh, sometimes you think about suicide tendency, you come to that as well because it's like whatever what you have done is not in that So, how are I going to fight? How are I going to survive in this society? When you are at secondary school, then you start to like boys just like any other girls, but you don't get to say because you are so worried about how people are looking at you, how people laugh at you, and how are you a disgrace to the family. My mom, she know, but she cannot accept. Yeah, but however, uh, I'm having a part time also because uh, during then uh, she was diagnosed with cancer and she also revealed my identity. She tells her signs and she revealed that to my dad to let me be who I am. Yeah. So that also has a little bit of influence to my dad and my family as well. Because she's the head of the family. When she mentioned that naturally my brothers will tend to be a bit more uh, submissive and will tend to be more open when I went for my surgery after my surgery, I still don't want to, uh, I still don't have the courage to face my relative and everything. And it's my family is the one who support me to say that you have already been as a woman now. So just face it, we will be together with you. This is so, so 
times and so happy about it. Yeah. To be frank with you, until now, sometimes I am still thinking, why am I like that? Yeah. In in the world, in this future, so called the fashion industry, I feel that sometimes I'm also still not given much opportunity to prove myself as well. So, you know, the negative thoughts will off and on will come back again. But however, I start to educate myself is that I am a good person. I am indeed more fortunate than any other people who are suffering and they are disabled and they have some illness. So that will help me to overact my negative thoughts and make me feel that hey, at least I'm still enjoying my passion. For being transgender, I think uh, beauty is coming from inside, not from outside. You need to love yourself. Makeup is just only an external thing to help you to boost up a little bit of confidence. But the most important thing is your true heart that really you need to know what are you looking for.